<sighs> well, <clears throat> before we start, I would like to start a petition to rename Pablo to DE Midas, please. Let's talk about the Inaros rework then, because everyone and their mum has been asking me about it. I don't know if you know this, but I have played quite a bit of Inaros. He is in fact my most used frame, by a long shot. Everyone has always complained about Inaros, because apparently all he can do is tank, which is just straight up not true. Inaros can do stuff, but I guess you wouldn't know that if you haven't played him for a thousand hours like me. At first I was somewhat opposed to this, I don't like the idea of every Warframe doing the exact same thing just with a different flavor, that's how the class diversity in World of Warcraft died. But then I remembered that it's being handled by this man right here, so I remained hopeful. And surprise surprise, he delivered once again. The TLDR on the Inaros rework is, whenever you die you will turn into a sand version of yourself and you can revive yourself by punching enemies. Now instead of having to do a certain amount of damage, it's simply gonna be based on a number of hits, so you need to hit an enemy 12 times, let's just say, and you will revive. This is considerably better than the sarcophagus nonsense we have right now, which becomes all but useless once the enemy levels go high enough. His one remained pretty much the same, you throw a bit of sand, you open the enemies up to a finisher. It did receive an indirect buff though as they're making more enemies susceptible to finishers. His second and third ability got merged together so as you darude around which you'll be able to do much faster after this update you will also drag enemies underneath you. And then there is his third and fourth. Now what they did is they split his old fourth ability into two separate ones. His new third is the armor portion of his old fourth with the negation swarm baked into it. So you can charge it up to get a bunch of extra armor and you can do it while moving now which is a nice bonus which will be spent whenever you are hit with a status proc to negate it. And finally his new fourth ability is the swarm portion of his old fourth ability, but it's been improved. It's now a conal ability that infects enemies with the insect swarm and whenever an infected enemy dies they spawn a sand cavat that will run around, attack enemies and spread the swarm further. Additionally, the insect swarm will now proc corrosive with every damage tick. Now I must say, this sounds insane. Insect swarm is already really strong as it is. This change is just gonna make it ridiculous. What I like about this rework is that it doesn't change in arrows too much, he still remains a chunky boy that has some tricks up his sleeve, he just has a few more of them now. Having reliable armor strip makes Inaros an even better gun platform than he was before. All you need to do is throw on two emerald charts for the extra corrosive procs and you have full armor strip that's reliable and spreads around on its own. And that's kinda nuts. I think we will see more Inaros players running around after this update. Now jokes aside, I do understand why this rework needed to happen. Right when Inaros came out he was tanky but he was tanky at the expense of other stuff. But it was okay at the time, if you wanted to be super chunky, you would run Inaros. But that's not the case anymore, Inaros is not the tankiest frame anymore. A lot of Warframes nowadays rely on shield gating, which Inaros can't use because he doesn't have any shields and that's a massive layer of defense. On top of that, more and more Warframes are getting enormous damage reductions on their abilities. And we even have just straight up tankier frames, like Corvex. So it makes sense to give Inaros a bit of a rework and give him a few extra tricks. I'm genuinely looking forward to playing around with the new and improved Inaros. I'm pretty sure I will switch away from Corvex and go back to Inaros once this comes out because while Corvex is good, he doesn't look as good as Inaros. And he also doesn't have any pets, and I love pets. Even if it's just sand cats. But anyway, that's pretty much it, so I thank you very much for watching, as always guys, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Then I would also like to extend a special thank you to all the channel members, thank you very much guys, I really appreciate your support, it really does mean a lot to me. And I'll see you next time, bye bye.